WDA basketball action back on back on the action on the night. Uh, the home stretch is we are just a few weeks away from the regional tournament. The top five spots in the standings are key to avoiding the play-in round. And the Mandan Braves are one of those teams on the bubble facing fifth-ranked Bismarck Demons. Let's go to the tip of this one. Rematch of opening night. It's Mandan with revenge on their mind. And a hot hand would be Aaron Grubb. Turnaround jumper nails it. Braves leading early. In fact, a 12-2 run to start for Mandan. Hungry for a win, especially when they're feeding Grubb. 21 points in the first half for him. But Bismarck gets back in rhythm. Helps when you have this guy, Trayson Eaglestaff, get his night started with a three. Mandan stayed with Bismarck the whole night. They get the upset win, 100-95. Mandan girls on fire, winners of four straight facing Bismarck. Close one early off a demon hit, a rebound. Allie Golson making the extra pass, rewarded as Peyton Newmiller hits the three. Braves the other way. Jordan Toman knows how to get her shot. The lay in a pretty play from the senior guard. But Bismarck goes on a big time run. Look at the vision from Peyton Gerbing. The speed on the drive, easy two points there. The Demons pull away to win 80-56. St. Mary's also on the play in bubble, taking on Century. State's marching from behind. In transition, Nate Fedorchak with the three pointer, buries it from the wing to make it a three point game. But William Ware with a momentum shifter gets the steal. And he's so good in transition, going coast to coast, hammers it down the lane. Patriots hope and extend the lead before the half, working inside out. Trayton Hinderer. Here is a three ball. And he'll knock it down. And that was the difference. Patriots survived 77-74. Century girls with 41 straight, hoping to keep the streak alive. Patriots off to a hot start. About a 12-0 run. Get going on senior night. Abby Fletcher getting to the basket for two. Nice land. More from Century's offense. Look at the ball movement. Eden Friendly in the corner. No doubt. Three ball good. 42 in a row now. 65-40 Patriots win. Legacy open a bust out of a three-game losing streak facing Jamestown Sabres. 11-point lead out of the half. Logan Wetzel doing his part. This pull-up jumper going to make it a 13-point ball game for the Sabres. Just beginning of a 7-0 run after the break. Landon shots wide open in the corner. And with a name like that, you got to make those shots. Drops in with ease. Blue Jays trying to mount a comeback quick off the inbound. They follow it with a timeout there, but Legacy hangs on 65-56. Half game separates these two teams in the girls' standings. Blue Jays with a four-point lead late in the first. Ella Falk stepping into a three-pointer from the top of the key. Makes it a seven-point game. With just seconds to go now in the half, Legacy's Alyssa Eckroth. Look at her drive, step through the defender, and it's going to beat the buzzer. But it's the Blue Jays who pick up a 68-60 win. Dickinson edging out Williston as well. Class B scores Shiloh beating New Salem. And Wilton Wing, an upset win at home over 10th-ranked Flasher.